<laughs> it's funny I'm wearing this shirt because the first concert I attended um, was a Cheetah Girls concert. Uh, when I was young, I loved the Cheetah Girls. I guess now we're representing today. Hey Teen Vogue, I'm Tanner Buchanan and today I'm gonna be sharing some of my firsts with you. Uh, the first thing I do every day is make sure I get coffee. Coffee is number one, and it's the first thing I have to do when I get up, otherwise I will have a headache for the rest of the day. Just straight black coffee. That's all I need. A lot of times I go to Starbucks, um, which can add up uh, quite a bit, even though it's just black coffee. Sometimes I try to make it at home, but other, a lot of times I'm lazy. And it also gives me time to wake up because I like to drive and listen to music before I get my coffee. The first big purchase I probably made, um, I think was when I was 12. I'm a big car and motorcycle guy. So the first big purchase I bought was a 1969 Chevelle. Uh, at 12 years old, it wasn't running or anything, but it was a project car. Uh, and I'm, I'm still not done with it, but we're getting there. I just have to find the time. <laughs> Uh, first car I drove, I mean, I grew up in a small town in Ohio and I felt like we were always driving all kinds of things like tractors and combines and go-karts and dirt bikes. But I remember when I learned to drive like a car car, like truly learned, I learned on a Jeep. It was stick shift. Um, my parents wanted me to learn manual before automatic. So that was kind of the car I learned in. And then the first car that I had when I was 16 was a truck. It was a GMC Canyon is what I had. Mm, my first audition was a commercial audition, I believe for Acura. I just literally had to be able to ride a bike and I rode a bike for like 10 hours. It was an awesome day. So obviously super exciting because like I said, all I had to do was ride a bike all day. So that was easy peasy for me and a lot of fun. And then I just also remember being mesmerized by how much free food you could have and you got lunch and all kinds of stuff. So I, I love that. The first place I saw myself on TV was a commercial. I actually think it was at my cousin's house. I think I remember going, oh my God, that's a commercial, that's me. And even though everybody knew I had done it, it went by so fast and I think they didn't think it looked like me because I had a helmet on. Um, they were like, no, that's not you. And I was like, no, I swear I did that. I know, I worked it. We, I rode a bike for 10 hours. I know I did that, that was me. Luckily enough, it like popped back on like 30 minutes later and they're like, oh, that was you. I was like, yeah, I know, I, I'm, I know what I did. <laughs> I feel like my, I usually call my parents, like my mom or my dad. If something important's happening in my life or something important happens, uh, good or bad. <laughs> so they seem to be the first people a lot. The first famous person that followed me on social media. I don't know, I actually, I don't, I don't, I don't know who my followers are to be honest. <laughs> So I don't know, I actually don't know. I don't know many people that follow me. I guess I just don't pay attention to social media as much or followers or anything like that. I just kind of like to scroll through it and just post what I like to post. So I, I don't know. The first time I was truly starstruck was one of the, the first couple years I was out in California. Someone had tickets to a taping of Wizards of Waverly Place. Um, and I got to go and I remember sitting in the audience and I was just so mesmerized by Selena Gomez. I absolutely loved her. And then after I got to go down on the floor and I got my picture taken with her, I got my picture taken with everybody else, but she was the one that mattered at the time. And I actually wore a white shirt and I had everybody sign the shirt. And I still have that shirt framed with the pictures of me beside them to this day. Uh, at, it's at my parents' house, actually. I think it's still hanging up. It was the end of kindergarten, the start of first grade. Ah, oh, I've not talked to her in years. Uh, it was Lexi Hazelman. Wow, I do remember that. I think I remember on the first day of uh, first grade after kindergarten, I bought her like a little like bracelet or something, a present, like put it on her desk. First celebrity crush. <clears throat> I don't. Selena Gomez, maybe? <laughs> Is that maybe seems like one? Yeah, let's say it's Selena Gomez. The first time I was recognized, like out in public, I was doing a show called Designated Survivor. And it shot up in Toronto. 
and uh, I didn't have a car uh, first off because I think I started it when I wasn't even 16. But I was going to set by myself. I was taking like uh, public transportation and I they were going out to a uh, location and I ended up having to take the bus. Um, so I got off the subway, got on the bus and I got on and the bus driver actually recognized me. But I remember walking on and he like looked at me odd and I didn't know if he thought like he was clocking me, like I was gonna do something bad. And then I got off and he said, hey. I was like, yeah, 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 what did I do? <laughs> he was like, you're on a, you're on TV, aren't you? I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, that's how I am. He's like, designated survivor. I was like, uh-huh, this is where I'm going right now. I'm going to set. <laughs> Uh, so I think that's the first time. The first time I felt like I was getting the hang of karate on the show um, was probably season two. In the first season, it kind of felt like it was just like me and Sholo starting off. But uh, season two, I feel like we really started to catch on and I felt like I got a hold of it and knew more what I was doing and, and how to get into it and everything. I think I've always walk away and I go, well, that, that I could have done way better. I'm very hard on myself. I'm usually disappointed in myself because <laughs> I want it to be better every time. Everyone seemed like a lot of fun and everyone seemed extremely nice. I actually was very secluded uh, for most of the first season from everybody else and why I kept it that way, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I think it was just I was young and again didn't have a car the first season so I just stayed at home and went to set. Uh, I worked with obviously Ralph a lot and um, he was just a great person to be around at all times. He's just the nicest guy in the world uh, as is everyone else. So we're like a little family so it's really really cool. A lot of times sometimes I go to goof off Oh, <laughs> and annoy other people, it seems as though. I just like, I like to be around people. I like to talk to a lot of people, but usually I get in trouble because I have to go change out a wardrobe. I forget to do that a lot. <laughs> so the first thing I do is go and change out of wardrobe so everybody can get off the clock and go home. I hope our wardrobe, Frank, uh, he doesn't watch this. We usually get like socks every time, you know, for the character and stuff. Uh, so I don't think I've paid for socks in about five or six years. A lot of times at the end of the day, I just, leave the socks that I have on in the scene and just end up taking them home. And then I have an extra pair of socks that I just, that I have and I just throw them in my pocket. So I have a lot of socks. <laughs>